I'm so excited about today's video. You're going to see the ultimate behind the scenes of me shooting. This could be the best behind the scenes that I've ever done. The thing that's amazing about this one, you're gonna see the front to back of a photo shoot, the anatomy, so to speak. Everything from me going through the model's clothing and choosing the right outfits, choosing the right shoes, to me outside picking the right locations, all my directions with the model, and if you stay till the end, you're gonna actually see my retouched finals in my portfolio. I can't wait for you to get into this video. Let's get into it. This is the Cardi method. Seems that models clothing is always everywhere on a shoot if you don't have a rolling rack. I used to have a rolling rack in my office, but I decided it was taking up too much space. Right. You know, like I, there's, there's definitely protection there. What we're doing right now is I'm choosing the outfits. It's super important for us to find the right looks. Here we are in this first red bikini, which I'm not too thrilled about the frills. So I actually have her change into a second one. And again, you'll notice I don't pay attention too much to the clothing until I see it on the model. That first thing you tried on, yeah. we're gonna start with that. Okay. Do you, did you bring any makeup or anything like that for yeah. I'm not trying to do an entire lingerie shoot. I want to mix it with the right skin and the right outfits. Going to the first location, I really like to set the tempo for the shoot with the first location. I haven't shot Holly in a while, although I have photographed Holly before. I've shot her twice before for jobs. Holly hasn't been in front of the camera for 10 years. She's restarting her modeling career, so this is a really nice vibe getting her in the mood. It's important to know in the beginning of most photo shoots, your model is going to be a little broken. You're going to have to direct them directly into the exact poses, into the exact mindset that you're hoping for. Fix the shirt so it's a little square. There we go. That's it. That's it. Just if you're one of those photographers that doesn't direct your models, that's probably why you're getting lots of like hands on the face and lots of strange things that you really wish you had a different pose after the fact. It's all about direction. And you'll notice that I always start with the most basic, simple of poses here. That's you look amazing. Like, you look the thing that's important, I think, is to only show the winners. You can actually really get a model discouraged and in the wrong headspace if you're showing photos that aren't quite there. Wait till you start shooting some 11s and that you'll notice throughout the session. I bring her up into a certain space. I get all of those images and then I show. The thing that's cool is I find myself doing every pose that I'm telling the model to do. Like this, like down this way. If I can't do the pose, I can't expect the model to do it. I need her squatting down because I wanted to have her face in the light properly. Her body language isn't exactly right in this picture, but we're working through the process. That's the whole point of shooting look. You get to exercise multiple different ideas. You'll notice the way that I shoot. I shoot headshots. I shoot half body. I shoot three quarter. I shoot full length. And I do this with every outfit. And I also change the idea all the time. So there's a lot of variety. And I make sure that I have a series of 11s. And my client's always super happy. I've been shooting quite a bit in this park over the last little bit. And again, by the way, notice how many details I'm noticing. I want her dress to sit just right. Everything has to work. I needed just a little bit of hint of sexiness. I wanted to see just a pinch of underwear. Also, you can see in this situation, I have her in perfect light. She's actually directly lit by sun and sun that's in the right spot. So she's able to look at camera without squinting, but it's still direct, beautiful light. And also you'll notice I always use backlight. I try to mess with front light and backlight when I shoot females. I don't use as much mixed light or cross light. I save mixed light for males. I save cross light for males, but front light, back light for females, you really can't lose. It looks amazing. Bring your hair on both sides. Forward. 
Yeah, yeah, good, 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 good. Most open. Right now I'm trying to get some foliage in front of my lens and because it's backlit, it just ended up looking so great. And you'll see it right now. And this is one of the images that I ended up using as a final. I love when girls are on their tiptoes. You can see it extends their legs, it extends their calves. And when you're shooting without shoes, it's a really great way to extend the model's lines. Also, I'm having her use her opposite hand to pull through her hair so I actually still see her face. Right now she's a bit static, so I have her go through the process of not just holding it, but actually moving her arm. Oh my god. Oh my god, that's so awesome. So how was that? That was awesome. I'm so happy to do that. I'm glad of your reaction because you're pleased and you know your stuff. So you're happy? I'm so happy. She's fun to shoot. She was so engaged and really, really into it. Look too. Did I advocate walking down the street with no top? Well, she has a top. It's a bikini top. It was a hot day. Sometimes I get flagged on the street. People are like, oh my God, what are you shooting? Or are you Cardi? And I just stop and give that guy my contact information. One thing that's really cool that you may not know regarding the sun's position in the sky and the horizon line, each width of your hand is an hour. So you're on location, you look, the sun is setting, you're not sure how much time you have until the sun is touching that building and giving you shade until the sun sets, use your hand. That is the horizon line, that's an hour. Then go here, that's another hour. Go here, that's another hour. And if it's half, it's half an hour. And if it's a finger, it's 15 minutes. Each one of your fingers is 15 minutes. That's how much the sun moves during that time. So if you're really smart, you'd actually catch the fact that I'm measuring how much light I have left. It's really important to build rapport while you're on location with your models, when you're in between your spots, as you're traveling to your spots. And Helmut Newton said this, if you can't find an incredible place to shoot your model within a block in any direction from your hotel, for me, I'll say from where you're standing, if you can't find an amazing place to shoot, you got some work to do. There's locations everywhere. Watch how I use this location. Holly was so great. And I mean, she's just on the edge of a little bit too slim for me because she is like super fit. You can see she's got muscles and she's got abs, but she's just a little bit skinny because we see those ribs. So I'm trying to position her in such a way that makes her feel strong and not slim. I do that by positioning her in a way that engages her muscles. I always jump between my 50, my 85, and my 100. I change my lenses so quickly. You can see the distance, but still I'm cropping her relatively closely. I like to use public locations. There's no other way really to say it than that. I like to use locations that are common locations. Things that you see every day are things that really interest me because there's ways that light hits it. There's ways that makes it super interesting. I just really love this location. Believe me, when these guys were walking by, I think they wanted to stop, but what I'm working, I'm very much working. No, no, keep walking. Turn your face more to me. Right there, right there. Too much, too much, too much. Right there, right there. I love this background because you can see the color of her hair versus the color of the trees. The trees, that dark, rich green versus her blonde hair is really great. And now we're getting the wind. I love the way the wind is playing, especially when the wind blows from behind and blows around. It just looks incredible. Holly really knows how to look at the camera, but again, this is something that you really have to cue. I honestly believe the best thing to tell a model is don't look at the camera, but look at the person who's looking at you in this photograph. Look 
through the camera. Quick on the spot change. The thing that was cool about this black bikini is I knew I could use the bikini bottom with this. So we picked a really simple beige top and now we're featuring this turtleneck and just move into another location. I really wanted to give you a fly on the wall look as to how I move when I'm shooting. Shooting with a car, I do all the time, but it's actually easier to just park and then be in an area where lots of photographs can happen, where there's lots of locations within a very close proximity. I find myself shooting that way so much more. I won't travel so far to get to a spot where I can only execute one photo. It just doesn't make any sense. Come in this way. Turn this way. Oh, that's everything. Yeah, the sun is sick. I have this amazing direct sun again, which is so hard to find, but I strategically chose this time of day to meet. I think we met at five so i knew by the time i would be shooting at 6 p.m the light would be perfect and i'd have the last two hours to execute perfect light whether i chose to do direct light or whether i chose to aim into the sun i can't wait for you to see what this sunset look looks like because that is coming up super soon look at the sun off the water and again, I want you to notice how I continually flip back and forth between front light and back light and front light and back light. What this scene looks like on video versus what it looks like in camera is insane. And now shooting front light. So you're actually getting the contrast and the sharpness that you get from front light. And then you're getting that hazy, dreamy feeling like you see right now when I shoot backlight. And also the highlight on her hair. Look how amazing that looks. Giving her this railing to play off of in front, that's actually a prop. And we're using a natural location as a prop. Each one of these looks I love for their own unique qualities. The light is just incredible. The light looks sick the backlighting and this sheer outfit and how we get that little hint of skin. Look at how long the shadows are. And also getting her to pose in a such a way also brings her down and I lower myself to her level and give you this beautiful perspective. Her knees were getting tired and you can see as now she stands up, the sun literally right behind her face and I'm able to do such amazing, like easy lighting effects. So good. Bring that like in just a touch. Too, that's it, that's it, that's it. Stay just like that. Before I jumped into this last idea, I really loved her sitting down so I could have an open eye line with no tree behind her. I hate behind distractions, things happening around the head. So you really just isolate in on her. Move this arm back behind you. Yeah, good like that. Good like that, stay there. I can't tell you how thrilled I am with this photo shoot. I'm trying to get a very, very simple, sexy silhouette. Super difficult to catch this picture. I worked on it for a minute, but I'm sure if you can see the placement of the sun, you're getting the idea as to what I was trying to catch. This image is already in my portfolio. There's a few of these that are already in my portfolio. I'm just so happy. And just look at this vibe. Look at the way the dress is sheer. Look at the feeling of this set. And this is just public space. This is just Toronto the Beautiful. And again, if you've never been to Toronto, it's such a sick place. It's amazing for photography. And yeah, that session, I'm just actually <laughs> blown away way with how great that went you can always see like runners see me shooting they stop sit on a bench wait for something to happen riders see something happening uh yes finally holly slipped on this black dress and i was thinking about shooting this dress but i really feel like i got everything that i needed 
The simple black dress is something that we see a lot. I felt like it was necessary for me to just cut it before the light was absolutely gone. What a day, what a day. What a session. Did you guys feel that? I'm going to show you my favorite pictures if you wait till the very end. But by the way, if that video brought you value, make sure that you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if this is content that you like and you wanna see more of. And now my final retouched images. I'm crediting my retoucher because I no longer do my own retouching. I have so much work to do these days with my professional photography business, making videos, editing. Thank God I send my editing out to the amazing Benja. And Benja is the one who's putting this amazing project together right now. But as far as this retouching, it is done by Suhail. And Suhail is brilliant. By the way, I'm crediting his Instagram below if you need retouching and you're struggling look at what my post-production looks like Suhail thank you guys have this brought you value make sure you watch this video next which is another master class a master class of me shooting in studio watch that video next and I will see you on that one thanks so much for watching